This field where I'm standing is called Bisonveld, Bison Field. It's a large field where people nowadays uh, play different kind of sports or where people have summer camp. Back in 1926, it looked a lot different though. The Heer Blau donated two bison for Bisonveld in 1926. And so it was a male and a female. And they had offspring. And I think they had offspring. But after that, the animals slowly died out. Most probably because of inbreeding. And this, especially the rock here, is all that's left of a quite a big zoo that was erected in 1932 by the brothers Kolfschote. It was quite remarkable for that time, especially because it was erected near a village with less than 10,000 inhabitants. But, you know, got quite some tourists, was, was quite nice. And in 1932, yeah, this was quite an attraction. Behind me, there's the, this is still the enclosure of the ibexes that are living here today. But the zoo contained a lot of other animals, be it exotic or not. They had Malaysian bears, monkeys, parrots, Shetland ponies, all kinds of animals that were surrounding this area. Not much is left though. This is the only enclosure. Um, as with most things that were erected before the Second World War. The Second World War made it close down. Most of the animals, including the ibexes, were slaughtered. Whether it is for their meat or not. They just, maybe they just couldn't take care of them. But they were killed. After the war, the brothers Kolfschote donated a new pair of ibexes to the zoo. At least, what's left of the zoo. This is the only enclosure left, but it's still there and the animals are still taken care of and they're actually thriving. It's getting a bit cold, but um, yeah. That's, it's kind of remarkable that of an entire zoo, there is still one thing left after almost a decade. Even though this is all that's left, it's in the middle of a forest together with the Bisonfeld. Those are places where humans can monkey around. Okay, see you another time. Bye. Ah. So. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> and, and they're being taken care of by, uh, I don't know. I don't know who's taking care of them. I really don't know. I couldn't find that. <laughs> this zoo was erected by the brothers Kolfschoten in 1932. Are you kidding me? 